Hey guys and welcome to me paintings. First of all, I would like to thank you for such an amazing feedback. I can't thank you enough guys. You are so great. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments, for your encouraging me, for making more videos, for all your nice words. Uh, it really makes me happy and it really makes me want to show you more. Thank you so much for watching this new video. I want to show you what I did. I mixed my own pouring medium from this kind of glue. I hope you can see that. I use 60% of this glue and 40% of water. And I mix it well together. And then I mix half part of pouring medium and half part of acrylic colors. I use all acrylic colors. This time I'll be using lots of white some blue, some magenta, red and yellow. I will show you, I used this this kind of yellow. It's called genuine yellow light. Also this kind of red. It's called rouge vermilion, I think. That's how it's written here. Then I use this lovely magenta gray color. This is, I like this color, color very much. And then I mix those two colors. This one is called cobalt blue. And this one is called cerulean blue or cerulean blue. I don't know how to read that. Well, it's these colors. I've got quite a good experience with these colors. They mix quite well with my pouring medium oh i also wanted to show you i put two drops of silicone in each color i use this type of silicone because that's the only one which i can buy online in an art shop i'm sure there's loads of different brands which are also good or you don't even have to use silicone for your colors if your pouring medium is good um, it will create cells and you don't even have to use silicone. I wanted to show you this pouring medium. I used to use this one, but it was quite expensive. So I decided I'm gonna make my own pouring medium. And sorry for those who already saw this. Um, I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but there is so many new people who are watching my videos. So that's why I, I am always trying to explain everything. So you can create something nice as well. I think we are ready to start, so let's start pouring. I'll be putting my dark colors first and the lightest one will be at the top. And in between my colors I will be putting white color. Because I want quite a lot of white space in my painting and only a little bit of colors. Although I know that it will have loads of blue <laughs> because the dark colors always takes over all the colors but I'll be putting loads of white in there so hopefully it will be nice so white first oh I wanted to show you my mixture it's it's like this it's not too th uh, not too thick and at the same time not too thin you need to find the right consistency. That's the most important thing. If it's too thick, it will mix too much. And if it's too... No, sorry. If it's too thin, it will mix too much. And if it's too thick, it won't flow nicely on your canvases. This is 50 times 50 centimeters. Okay, let's pour my blue. I hope you can see that. I can't see my camera at the moment. I, I put it in the different angle because last time you could see only my hair, hair. So hopefully this time you will also see everything else. Okay, more white. This time my white is a little bit more thin than the last time. But I wanted to try to make it thinner because I wanted my colors to mix better. Purple. And another white. So 
and red a little bit of red red also always takes over all the colors red is quite powerful color a nice color I need more white come on white yeah and then some yellow nice yellow little bit of yellow white yep I think that's it I will also put some white on my corners like this because it's always hard to get your colors everywhere so I'm putting my white in here don't worry about the little drops if you are new to acrylic pouring I'm sure you will have loads of fun with it but it's hard at the beginning to find the right consistency of, of your colors and the more you paint the more you learn and don't be afraid to experiment I, exper I love experimenting with loads of different techniques and colors because it always well push me on the edges and then I can come up with something new something what is very interesting and very beautiful okay I think we are ready to make a flip cup like this yeah I didn't do it in the middle because I my lightest part want to be in the in in this place I will pour a little bit of white around here yeah I've got my painting t-shirt so I can do this and I don't have to be afraid to be dirty because this is my painting t-shirt Okie dokie, let's move the cup. Ooh, look at this. You can already see some cells growing. My white was quite thin this time, as you can see, but I think it will be okay. It's growing now. Let's move it. everywhere It's mixing quite a lot but that's what I want if I wanted my colors not to mix them too much I would make my colors thicker but I wanted them to mix 
so that's okay that's what I hoped for I hoped for some nice shades of all these lovely colors I've got quite a lot of pink in there but it's okay um, I can work with that oh that looks nice already let's cover this part let's help my colors going down here this is nice color as well I like colors That already looks nice. I've got some lumps in here from my white sometimes if you don't stir your colors well you can have some lumps I don't want these lumps in here but yeah that's that's very interesting I don't have any white parts in here but it's okay I will use my torch because I want some bigger cells in here if I blow it with my mouth it will create some more cells but I will use my heat gun and I think some colorful cells will show in here here we go I will be using my heat gun and it will create more nice cells I have to move it I think that's it I hope you can see that I know some of you might think it was nicer before I used the heat gun but I will be painting with I will be working with this painting a little bit more but now I need to give it a rest I need to let it dry very well and when it gets dry I will continue remaking it into beautiful piece of art thank you very much for watching for now and I'll be soon back. Bye! Hey guys and welcome back. As you can see my painting is finally dry. I let it sit for about two weeks and I was postponing it a little bit because I just wasn't sure. My hubby said I should keep it like this but I still feel like it's it's not finished I feel like it needs something more and I want to paint something more and I'm gonna show you what I will do but first of all I want you to look at this painting and I want you to think about things which you can see in this I will give you a second yeah you are having some nice ideas it's a good way to practice your imagination, your creativity. I love to look at my paintings and think of them. And I like to look behind these cells, behind these colors. I'm sure lots of you see what I see. And what I see is a beautiful sunset. Look at all these beautiful clouds and and shades 
that's what I see and see so I decided I am gonna paint a little bit more of this beautiful sunset and see and I'm gonna show you how I hope it will work and I hope it will make this painting even more nicer I love the cells and I love this this shine from the sunshine so I'm gonna keep it like that this but I will paint some nice sea and little ref reflections in these and these will be symbolizing clouds and sun rays okay i think we are ready to start painting so first of all i want to make this line here and i want it to be quite quite narrow so I will use this tape where I want to have my yep, narrow line maybe a little bit higher like like this is that is this straight I think so. And this will be my C. Is that straight? Yeah, I think so. And I'll be using these five colors, mainly these five colors. Um. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, white, dark blue, this this is called magenta gray, this is red, um, rouge, vermilion, and this is yellow. These are basically the colors which I used for my pour, so I want to keep the same colors, but I need some dark mix of, of magenta and blue for my C. So I'm going to create this darker color, it will be dark purple, I will, would say, maybe a little bit of black, like that. Yeah, I want that color quite dark. Mm. Yeah, even darker than this. I will need to mix it with red. Darker purple, uh, purple, blue. Yeah, yeah that's, I see. And it will be darker in these edges, so I recommend using a little bit of dark color on your edges as well. So I put my yellow in here and um, red and magenta I will make some nice shades nice well yeah different shades of these colors I will put a little bit of this yellow in here red With yellow, more yellow, also some magenta with a little bit of red, 
and some yellow. That's it. Um, I want to have some nice white spot which will be the base of my sun. And these are the sun rays which are uh, in the clouds. So I will put this big block of white in here. quite abstract sun I want it too wide just a little bit and yeah this sun rays will be showing in here in these clouds and here in these clouds so I need my small brush and I will be drawing some some shades in my clouds like this and I, I want to keep the shapes of my my cells like this so yeah I want to see the reflection of sun rays in here a little bit so I'll be, sh basically I'll be sh making shades <coughs> into these cells. These cells are beautiful, beautiful stuff. Cla uh, sorry, clouds. I'm too tired tonight. I want this white to blend all around. I'm gonna blend it a little bit all around here. Like that. These clouds also need a little bit of white.
you know what when I look at it I think it will be better if I cover these cells these are nice actually but it doesn't look that good when when you can see through it it looks weird so I decided I am gonna change it I'm gonna repaint it with the whole C thing yep I think that will be definitely better you close in here I'm also going to put a little bit of blue in here as a reflection of these blue shades. Yep, I think that's it. That's my amazing acrylic pour sunset with sea reflection 
Look at that. I love these cells. I love this sunset. Ooh. I'm a little bit sad that I lost these cells because these were nice, but it didn't work. I had to repaint them because they didn't look good. Sometimes you have to lose something to get something even more prettier. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope I inspired you to create your own beautiful art. And I hope you learned at least a tiny bit of painting from me. If you liked my video, please subscribe or find me on, inter uh, on Instagram or find my group Create With Me on Facebook and share your beautiful paintings. Thank you so much for being here with me. And hopefully see you soon. Bye.